your wonderful work, your awesome work, oh God. We, your people, shall exceedingly rejoice in you. Thank you, Father. We lock up all powers that seek to be by mortar. We thank you, our Lord. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's open in our Bibles to Revelation chapter 22. From verse 1 to verse 5. And he showed me a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding out of the throne of God and of the Lamb. In the midst of the street of it, and on every side of the river, was there the tree of life which bear twelve manners of fruit, and yielded that fruit every month. And the leaves of the tree we are for the healing of the nations. And there shall be no more cause. Glory! There shall be no more cause. Glory! There shall be no more cause. Glory! But the throne of God and of the Lamb shall be in it, and his servants shall worship him, and his servants shall serve him, and his servants shall give offerings of thanksgiving unto him, and his servants shall worship him freely. All veins removed. And we see him face to face. There shall be no more cause. Woo! There shall be no more cause. There shall be no more cause. But the throne of God and of the Lamb shall be in it. And his servants shall worship him. And his servants shall praise him. And this, his servant shall exalt his name. His servants shall bring forth a mixed praise and thanksgiving and thanksgiving and offerings of thanksgiving and of praise, sacrifice of praise on him that worship, on him that worship, and his servants shall serve him. That's verse 3, verse 4 now. And they shall see his face. And his name shall be in their forest. And let us read verse 5 together. And there shall be no night there. And they need no candle, neither light of the sun. For the Lord giveth them light. And that they shall reign forever and ever. Amen. Glory to the Lamb of God. Amen. Glory to Jesus forever. Amen. When a tale is told, when a, a story is being communicated, it comes to a point in time when the story is ended and all that there is in what is being communicated will be fully seen. Sometimes how the thing is progressing may not be very clear, but at the end it shall tell. Here is the end of the testimony. Here is the te end of the testimony. And he showed me. He will show you. He will show you. 
He chose you now. He chose you now. He chose you. 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 It's okay. Come here. It's okay. Run here. Run here. He chose you. He chose. Come quick. Come here. In the name of Jesus. He shows you. 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 A pure river, you can go, of the water of life. Clay. Clay. No mixture. No ambiguity. Clay. As crystal. Proceeding, flowing from the throne of God, out of the throne of God, out of the throne of God, it proceeds. And out of the throne of the Lamb, in the name of Jesus, there is a river, a pure river of the water of life available now. He will show you. Put your hand upon your head. He will show you. Receive a revelation of this great river. Now, receive a revelation of this great river of the water of life. Now, receive it. Receive, 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 receive. Verse 4. Verse, we take it away. And he showed me. Glory to God. A pure river of water of life. Not turbid, but clear. Not barely clear, but clear as crystal. Out of the throne of the Almighty God. And out of the throne of the Lamb. Thank you, Jesus. He showed me. Receive. And knowledge and in what knowledge and come into vital contact plunge yourself inside of it plunge yourself inside of it the river of the water of life clear as crystal proceeding yes you wouldn't need the light of a candle you wouldn't need the light of the sun you will not need the efforts of man. For the spirit of God has come to glorify Jesus. He has come to glorify Jesus. He has come to glorify Jesus. By showing his people that pure river of water, of life, clear as crystal. Thank you, Jesus. One day with the Lord is as a thousand years of great labors of servants of God hoping to communicate the life of Christ to his people. One day, one day with the Lord is as a thousand years. Receive the prom, the benefits and the, the blessings of a thousand years. Road into today in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Of the river, there's something. It proceeds from the throne of God. Whom we see at the beginning. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Yes, we see him at the beginning. Laboring to bring forth the knowledge of him to mortal man. And for 4,000 years, God was made manifest to the children of men, first to individuals, then to the covenant nation of Israel. For 4,000 years, doing so in a manner we shall discover in 1 John chapter 5. Let's go there, 1 John chapter 5. First John 5. First John 5. We'll take the reading. 
as we have marked it, I hope we marked it from the point we should take the reading, from verse 4. I will read to verse 6. Because of time constraint, you will take it to verse 8 on your own. 1 John 5. Verse 4. For whatsoever is born of God does what? Overcome the world. I am born of God. I overcome the world with this wickedness and sorceries and witchcraft and immorality and uncleanness. I am born of God. I am born of God. In my nature, I rise above the world. Thank you, Jesus. For whatever is born of God. How many of you are born of God? Born of God. Born of God. Born of God. You may write your name and at the end of it say B-O-G. Born of God. For as many, as many as received him, to then give him authority to become the sons of God. Even to them that believe in his name, which we are born, not of flesh, not of blood, not of the will of man, but of God. But of God. Whatsoever is born of God, whether animate or inanimate, has power in it. Faith is born of God. I am born of God. So I overcome the world with all his occultic powers, with all his regimen of wicked works of witches and wizards and sorceries. I have overcome the world. Thank you, Jesus. Verse 5. For whatever is born of God overcometh the world. Verse 4. And this is the victory that will overcome the world. Even our faith. For our faith like us is born of God. In the name of Jesus. I, I declare today, this being the will of God for you, that your spirit man, your inner man, be fortified with the spirit of faith and of power. Be fortified by his spirit. For it is the spirit that gives the evidence. It's the Holy Spirit that gives the evidence. Be fortified and see the evidence. Be fortified with faith. Stand up, receive fortification by his spirit in your inner man. All your faculties open to the operations of the Holy Spirit. Be fortified is the will of God. Be fortified is the will of God. Be energized is the will of God. Be fortified that you might be able to see and know experientially all of the fullness of God. Be fortified in the name of Jesus. Be fortified. Verse 5 now. It says, who is he that overcometh, but he that what? Believeth that Jesus is what? The Son of God. That Jesus came from God, proceeded from the Father. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Jesus was in him. I came from the Father and I returned to the Father. Jesus said, when you believe, mentally appreciate the truth concerning Jesus, 
it enters into you. And because your spirit man has been fortified with holy energies, it crystallizes as faith. It crystallizes as, as the power that overcomes the world. Amen. 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 Who is this Jesus? Who is this Jesus? For we read in the closing part of verse 5, but who is he that overcometh the world? But he that believeth that Jesus is who? The Son of God. But who is this Jesus? We see him in the Old Testament. In theophanic manifestation. Every point in time. We see him revealed. And ministering to people. In 4,000 years. In multiplied appearances. In his theophanic manifestation. Ministry to diverse people, he came by water only. Say so, he came by water. Everybody now? He came by water only. Take it again. They saw him. They could relate with him. He ate with them. He spoke to them. But he came by water only. He came by water only. So they were not able to totally overcome the world. For there was sin that had come in Eden. That had brought sin and death. And the prosperity as it were of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. But God did not create man to be a pauper, but to be his king, his representative of the earth. Far forces are there, but that wicked forces, serpent and the serpent creation, we are there, but there we are no match for the man that God has created. Amen? Amen. Say, and he blessed them and said, but fruitful and and replenish the earth replenish yourself here is the mark of creationally dependence upon the creator replenish replenish yourself replenish yourself with what i say to you replenish yourself replenishment comes before subduing then what it says what subdue the earth and have what dominion over myriads of marine spirits and powers in the waters over Olokun, over Igbe, over Abasima. Powers that operate from the waters. Rivers that have caged terrible demonic spirits that present themselves as deities. Have dominion. Have dominion is the original word. Over the fish of the sea. Over occult powers. Over the third eye. Over the nine occultic, major occultic formations in the world. And there are witches and wizards operating, seeking to prey upon humanity as a result of of the inroad found into man through partaking of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And God said, cost is the ground for your sake. Cost is the ground for your sake. For 4,000 years, in enlightenment and in providing the, 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 the foundation for what was to be done after the Son of God. It was the Spirit of Christ in them who prophesied that gave them that auction. 
It was Jesus of the way. So he could say, before Abraham, I am. Before Abraham, I not I was. For his existence cannot be cut short. From eternity, he is. Until now, he is. And he continued to be the I am that I am. But he came by water only. The glories of the ministry of the Old Testament, do they not surprise you? But he came by water only. The dead was raised as they encounter the word of him that came by water only. The sick healed. All kinds of miracles happened. Economy turned around in 24 hours. This thing that you are seeing here, that has brought famine, a prophet spoke, who encountered Jesus, who came to him by water only. Are you listening to me? And, it's, uh, and he said, by the spirit of that one, this thing that is sold for 80,000 naira, what has caused a whole lot of scattering so that people are eating human beings because of famine, economy crumble. He said, by this time, Say hallelujah. hallelujah. By this time tomorrow shall be sold for 10,000 naira. 800% elevation of the economy. And somebody who has many degrees in economy look at him and said, <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Where will the thing come from? This is not according to the books. And the fearless man looked at him and said, You will see it with your eyes, but you will not what? Partake of it. And in 24 hours, the word of the Lord came to pass. He came only by water. Hey! There was something that empowered the man who had him, Jesus, speak to him, who came by water alone. His body physique was there, but it was not flesh and blood. He was a manifestation of the Holy One. In a literal physical presence, but it was by water only. Say, by water only. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. But there was that which could not happen because the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit, operated with many of them from. From without. For the Holy Spirit was not yet given. And could not be given. For the sin question had not been answered. When Jesus came by the word. The sin question was not answered. He could not bring in everlasting righteousness. But there's he that was finished transgression make an end to sins and make reconciliation for iniquity and bring in everlasting righteousness but he could not do that as he came by water only are you listening to me now let's get to the next verse verse 6 verse 6 first john 5 6 all right are you there in your bible monica look for it in your bible and let's read together the good news, the great news is come. Are we together? And it says, this is he that came by what? By water and blood. Even Jesus Christ. Not by water only. 
but by water and blood. And it is the spirit that gives evidence, that bears witness that he has come and he has brought forth what is needed to root out the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, to root the cause. There shall be no more cause. There shall be no more cause. There shall be no more cause. And notice, this verse of scripture, the translators have given us a rendering telling us that Jesus came not by water only, but what? By water and blood. For we read in John 1.14, the word, which had always appeared to, to mankind by water only. In the beginning was the word. The word was with God. And the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things we are made by him. And without him was nothing made that was made. And the word was made flesh. That's when he took on humanity. That's when he came by blood. So, from the standpoint of history, Jesus came by water and by blood when he took on humanity. Is that not so? And the celebration of why he came by water and by blood is what we are gathered here for. For it is written, as spoken by him, that I laid down my life to buy back humanity. I laid down my life a ransom for many, then as a ransom for all. I laid down my life. So he took on humanity in order to lay it down, to shed his blood. Christ, our Passover lamb, is what? Sacrifice for us. Amen. But what we read here, which is correctly but not fully rendered as it, it is in the original, is that we are told that he came historically. But in the original script, this is he that comes by water and by blood. He comes and keeps coming. By water and by blood. He comes and keep coming by water and by blood. Hallelujah. And the spirit bears witness. As you receive him, as he comes to you today, by water and by blood, receive him. And the spirit will bear witness. He comes by water and blood. Even Jesus Christ, the anointed, not by water only, as it was in the Old Testament, but by water and blood. Twice written for emphasis. And it is the Spirit that bear it what? Witness. Witness. That give a proof that the God's solution for wiping out cause, for wiping out everything that genders to death, that, that genders death, to wipe it out, to remove it. And for that original statement made, to be wiped out, cause is the ground for thy sake. Now the ground shall yield forth abundantly. Glory to God. Glory to God. Yes, it is a spirit that bears witness because the spirit is true. And on that day, that great day of the feast, Jesus cried out with a loud voice saying, If any man thirsts, let him come unto me and drink. He that believeth in me, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. This speaking concerning the Holy Spirit, 
that should be given. For it was not yet given because Jesus Christ was not yet what? Glorified. Thus he came. And when he ministered, it was like the testimony he bore in his theophanic manifestation in 4,000 years. He could conquer any situation amongst men, for nothing is impossible with him, but the people themselves cannot be a witness to bear witness as he bears witness. And the Bible says, we are co-witnesses with the Holy Spirit. So on the cross of Calvary, Jesus died. And he poured forth his blood. And when his blood poured forth, water came forth with it. He came, saving, blessing, lifting, curing, healing, wiping out the old record, bringing about restoration, not by water only, but by water and by blood. For there's nothing that remains in him who received Jesus Christ, who comes by water and by blood, not in him that will need to be stirred up again into collapse. But everything that is contrary to him rooted from our lives. He came by water. But he came by blood also. In the name of Jesus. And the testimony of him who came by water and by blood, the apostle John, after 68 years of interaction with Jesus, did not know it. And he was shown. He was shown. A pure river of water of life, clear as crystals, proceeding from the throne of God and of the Lamb. And that is why he could write, he came, not by water only, but what? By water and by blood. Who is he that overcometh the world? But he that believeth that Jesus is the Son of God. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. So that's point number one. We'll hurry through the remaining eight so that we can finish in 20 minutes. Amen? Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Then next, in verse 2 of Revelation 22, we learn a secret. Hey! We learn a secret. It's available today. In the midst of the street of it, this part ought to be in the midst of the street of it should be part of verse one. But no problem, nothing lost. In the midst of it. In the midst of it, a pronoun makes reference to a noun that is clearly indicated either after it's been mentioned or before. In this case, it here refers to that pure river of the water of life. Hey, in the midst of that street, in the midst of the street of the river, if you plunge yourself into it, if you plunge yourself into it, the water is composed of two things. That river is composed of two things. It's a river of the water of life. It has water and it has the blood of Jesus in it. The water of the world and the blood of Christ. Amen? Amen. Amen? Yes. So the proceeding river, the river that comes is the testimony of him that came, not by water only, but by water and by blood. 
in the midst of the street of it. Glory to God. Glory to God. Plunge yourself into the midst of this river. Hey, thank you, Jesus. You have something like this so that you understand. This is the bank of the river on one side. This is the bank of the river on the other side. The river flows. When you plunge yourself to the midst, this river that flows is broad. But it comes from the narrow way that leads to life. You have walked in the narrow way. Now the ever abounding blessings of the gospel of Christ, of what Christ has secured in his death and made manifest in his resurrection. For Acts 2, 33 says, and when Jesus Christ was by the right hand of the Father, glorified. Hey! And this is the spirit that is yet to be given. Has not yet been given because Jesus Christ was not yet there. Uh, glorified. And when he was glorified, he poured forth his spirit. Amen? This is the midst of the street of it. It contains the water of life. This is land. This is land. On the eastern side of the river is a reality. But in the midst of this river, you can plunge yourself now. You can plunge yourself into it. You can plunge yourself into it. In the name of Jesus. To profit and to benefit, you will plunge yourself into it. To profit the others and the nation. You will stand on this side. Ministry blessings. To those who have Jesus. But do not know of the river. On this other side. You minister to the nations. Amen. You appear here as a tree of life. You appear here as a tree of life. As you minister the fruit of the good of this river of water of life, fellow believers will come and plunge themselves inside. There was one time in John 5 when there was a pool by Siloam, and an angel comes to trouble it. It was a covenant that was entered at the time of the Maccabees between the the, the restoration of Israel to the land of promise and the coming of Christ. That period of the Maccabees, that pool, by the concentrated prayers of the ministry then and the high priest, that pool was the beginning of that. When an angel come into it to stir up the water, whoever drops into it first shall be made whole of whatever sickness. But it was a period when Christ was made known to them by water only. Over against the pool of Siloam is this pure river of the water of life. Hey! Not one person in one year or two years. But sometimes the angels did not come to that pool for a long season. And the people have to stay there. But whenever the angel enters into the water and says, whatever may be the sickness, whoever jumps into it first is cured. But now all can jump into it. Yeah. Not the pool of Siloam, but the greater than the pool of Siloam. We come here to celebrate that he died. He did not die so that we can say, oh, this man suffer for all. No, there is life in the blood of Jesus. There is power in the blood of Jesus. An ever-present power. Yes, the word and the blood together is this water. Who will plunge himself into it? 
who will plunge himself into this water? Who will plunge himself into this water? Enter into it. Enter into it. You are walking in the narrow path that leads to life. Therefore, you can jump in. It is in the midst of the street of it that you see the wonder. That is why the message is in the midst of the street. Semicolon, there shall be no more curse. Walk in consecration. The Bible says, if any man will come after me, let him deny himself. Take up the cross and follow him. Yes, you've been following him. There have been more moral adjustments, cleansing. Hallelujah. And even if there be any moral weakness in any, remember, the word of the Lord came earlier on. Though that, that God showed mercy and forgiveth her iniquity. Did you hear when, it, when the word of the Lord came to her? He showed mercy and keepeth covenant and forgiveth iniquity. Were you here when the prophecy came? O oh God of Israel, there is no other in God in the earth. O oh Lord God of Israel. Amen. Then what does it say? He keepeth covenant and showeth mercy. O oh Lord God of Israel. Now, that's what the word of prophecy coming to us. He showeth mercy. He keepeth covenant. He showeth mercy. If you need a washing from anything that has troubled you, you will stand up and say, O oh God that keepeth covenant, show mercy. For now I plunge myself into the waters. He showed mercy. He showed mercy. For as much as he has finished transgression, for as much as he has made an end to sin, for as much as he has re brought reconciliation to iniquity, he now brings everlasting righteousness. Yes, wash in it. No matter how terrible you are, the blood that Jesus shed on that Passover night washes, washes, erases, destroys all sepeta seed, every work of wickedness, everything that attracts a curse, for the curse costless shall not come. If there be that wash in you, claim total victory over the world. Who is he that believeth? Who is he that overcometh the world? But he that believeth that Jesus is the Son of God. This is he that came by water and by blood. Not by water only. And the people could only call themselves servants. They could not call themselves sons. They didn't have growth. They didn't have growth. They didn't have victory. Sin question was yet not answered. But the Bible says, in Romans 8.3, you may want to put that, it says that Jesus took on humanity. To make a sacrifice that the righteousness of the Lord, that the righteousness of the Lord, the requirement that was given to Israel and therefore to the whole world when the Ten Commandments were given, the powers 
of the riches of that life could not be accessed by the people because it could morally reform them in a measure but total victory had not come total victory from sin has not come in Romans 8 verse 3 and right to the first part of verse 4 it says are you there? okay for what the law covenant for what could not be accomplished in the 1,500 years in which the old covenant between God and the children of Israel was running for what the law could not do in that it was weak what? through the flesh flesh and blood ruined by the tongue and seed of the serpent hey it was weak it was rendered feeble it was weak it was infirm so it could not do the law for what the law came to achieve by bringing perfection through the knowledge of its ways for the law is perfect spiritual but man is kinda sold under sin Romans 7 12 so yeah so for what the Lord could not do it that was weak through the flesh God sending his son coming in the likeness of flesh so that he might be a kinsman redeemer man for man man for man hey but what a man a heavenly man clothed in human flesh and blood ran down his brain he came by water and by blood so that you sorrow not lift up your voice lift up your spirit stir up yourself and behold him behold him that came by water and by blood and know that who plunged himself beneath the blood is cleansed much more than that the water and the blood the means of your cleansing and the means of your warfare and the means of your ministry in the river you are cleansed solely re revived solely made perfect no more cause but when you stand on the shores by water of the word and by the blood of the lamb you overcome you overcome and so John saw it and declared it in Revelation 12, 11. And they overcame he for the sake of others, not for their sake, for the sake of others. For it must be cast down from the heavens that it troubled the nations no more. Amen. And it was and overcame him. What? By the blood of the Lamb. And by the word, that's the water, the word of their testimony and they were bold to make their confession and proclamation they loved not their life unto death. they didn't hold back they plunged themselves fully plunge yourself now plunge yourself now into that river come by faith come as we celebrate the breaking of bread come come into it come into it come into it for when you come into it you will not only be loosed from everything that generate the cause that makes you accessible but that you will be the means of extending the same kind of victory to others let everybody shout amen, amen. shout it amen, amen. Oh, in the midst of the street of it, in the midst, come, plunge yourself right inside. Say with me, I plunge myself right inside. I consider the testimony of him that came by water and by blood. In the midst of this river, I now come by faith and washed 
henceforth nothing of death nothing of sin nothing of the curse shall flourish shall have any mention shall have any presence I shall be free from them all more than all a proof that the, the earth has been freed from the cost that was upon it in relation to me I will be productively fruitful in a season that has a 30 day span from month to month is the nature of my increase because the land has been rid of its curse. The land of my soul has been rid from the curse. Glory to Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We just finished the reading of verse 2, 3, 4, and 5. And we rejoice that, that these are realities that belong to today. After so many years of preaching the gospel of Christ, John came to know that there is this river of pure water of life. And we come to know it also. We will plunge ourselves into it. For as we continue in the narrow part of life, we must of, def of necessity enter into the waters. It has come to our ankles. It has come to our knees in time past. It has come to our loins in time past. Now we plunge ourselves fully immersed in this pure river of water of life. You may now stand up. Glorify the Lord. Glorify the Passover lamb. Glorify him. Oh yes. In the midst of the street. This is the street. Concerning which the Bible was there what? The tree of life. Read with me. Which what? Bear twelve manner of fruits. And ye day the fruit every month. You shall grow spiritually. By terrible leaps beyond bounds. Every month. Every month. Every month. Every month. For then the veil is not there. You will see him face to face. And the labors of the Lord in one day will be more than the labors of hundreds of servants of God in 1,000 years. You shall grow rapidly. He will do a quick and a short walk and cut it short in righteousness. Rejoice for the Lord now comes to you through the ministry of the word, not by water only, but by water and the blood. Cleansing and lightning, empowering, restoring you. In the name of Jesus. And the leaves of the tree. Ah! The we are is in italics. For when you enter into the waters, it becomes a present reality. The healing, the leaves of the tree. Ah! Ah! For the healing of the nations. And let's read verse 3 triumphantly. Want to go? And there shall be no more cause. Lift up your hands and say, no more cause upon my life. Because of the water of life flowing from the throne of God. Revealing he that came by water and by blood. I confess, I believe him. I covet even now the full yield of this river of water of life in my own experience. There shall be no more cause for the throne of the majesty on high shall be in me 
and I shall worship him there. I shall serve him there. I shall serve him there. I shall give thanks to him there. In the name of Jesus. Verse 4. Victor, are you around? Victor, are you around? Victor, are you around? Victor, are you around? There is a river. A pure river of water of life. Clear as crystal. Whatever is the history of all the activities of the diabolos, today they come to an end. Amen. Jump into the river. Amen. Jump into it. By faith. By faith. By faith. It's a river of water of life manifesting Jesus that has come by water and by blood. Say with me, by water and by blood. The word will make me wise. The blood will save me to the uttermost. There's nothing in me that attracts the cost. I cannot be accessed directly or indirectly because I'm immersed in this water. And there shall be no more cost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You shall serve him. Not from afar, but face to face. Face to face. And from now on, a glorious speed and transformation shall be the character of our growth. Because we are not making our way and feeling our way like persons that are partially blind but we are not come to the waters we are not come to the waters and all are healed who are found in these waters there shall be no more cause there shall be no more cause verse 4 verse 4 hallelujah verse 4 and they shall see his face and his name shall be in their forehead you shall never have a night there shall be no night there there shall be no night there what a what a subject matter for importunate confession i have plunged myself in the midst of the street that receives in a flow the river of the water of life containing the testimony of the word and of the blood as revealing Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Verse 5 And there shall be no more night there, there. There could be night everywhere, but there in your life, no more. Put your hand there. No more night. Put your hand. No more night. Have light. The things of God shall not be vague to you. Have light. Have light. Have light. Have penetration. Have insight. Glorify the Lord. Remember, no natural means will be your instructor, but the Holy Spirit will be your instructor. For the Lord gives, that's the meaning of give it, gives them light. And by the knowledge of what he reveals, they shall reign, what? Forever and ever. Say, I shall reign with Christ. Because I come into the midst of the waters. There is no more cost. No more limitation. No more darkness. Light comes to me, bringing me grace, and I move. I continue to move in tremendous strides and standing in the fullness of life just ahead of me. And let us say, Amen. And let us say, Amen. And you know what? Because Faith in this essential quality is overwhelmed by the goodness of the Lord. 
So faith reveals itself on the divine side through the worship of man, man's worship of God. Yes, for the same Lord God and the Lamb are the temple. We come into the temple. We enter into your tabernacle. It's not a place of block or wood. It is the person of God that is the temple. We come in worship. The temple signifies worship. And things that flow with it. We shall worship his majesty. Unto Jesus be your glory, honor, and praise. Thank you, Jesus. Majesty. Majesty. Worship his majesty. Hallelujah. Jesus who died, now glorified. King of all kings. Take it again. Majesty. Majesty. Worship his majesty. Hallelujah. On to Jesus be your glory, glory honor, and praise. He came by what time, my Lord? Majesty. Majesty. Worship his majesty. Hallelujah. Jesus would die in our midst, now glorified. Yes, he is the king of all. He has crowned us, but we put our crown at his feet, giving him thanksgiving. Hallelujah. We have on high the name of Jesus. Oh, magnify. Come glorify Christ Jesus the King. Glorify Him. Glorify Him. Not to remain. You shall not reverence an idol. You shall not reverence the past of darkness. You shall not stand in fear of the gods of the people. Unto Him all worship and praise. Jesus will die. Now glorified in our midst. Glorified oh yes, is King, King of all kings. 